What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing an October wrap up. I am so excited for this video because I read 11 books this month. This month was my best reading month out of this year so far and I'm so proud of myself. With that being said, I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get into it. The first book I read this month was That One Night by Emily Rath. It is the pre- book pre-novella to pucking around and originally i wasn't gonna read it but i decided to read it on my kindle anyway because i was like you know what i might be missing some character development or i might miss like exactly how they met and i probably will be lost as hell in that book if i don't do it so i decided to read that and i rated it a four stars i definitely loved the spicy scenes um but I also liked how they met it was really funny how they met and if you've never read the book I don't want to spoil it for you but yeah it was like the perfect little novella to read right before Pucking Around so I highly suggest if you guys are going to read Pucking Around by Emily Rath read the pre-novella first the next book I read is the first book off my TBR, and it is Titan. This is a daddy, a gargoyle daddy dom romance by Jillian Graves. I rated this a four stars, and the reason I rated it a four stars is because the plot was so much better than the spicy scenes. Um, this is about a former child star who lost all her money, so she's like escorting and like she needs a sugar daddy basically. He, which, what was his name again? His name was Titan. Duh. When Titan finds her, he, you know, pays her for like a night or whatever. And then she finds out he's a gargoyle and then it goes downhill from there. And let me tell you, this book was perfect. I feel like it was the nice little lightweight, you know, um, how do you say it? It was like a little dip in the, it, like you dip your toe in the waters into like monster corn so <laughs> i just felt like it was a really really good book to start with and this is the first one out of the series i think it's a series per se and i want to read the rest i want to read the rest the next book i read was the locked door by frida mcfadden if you guys watched my last video you guys would have seen my reaction to this and let me tell you this was the perfect psychology like psychological thriller i adored every second of this book why because it left me thinking the entire time like i genuinely thought she was just insane i thought that because of what her dad was doing she lost her mind so the book is about nora nora's dad used to unalive women in their basement years later she works as a surgeon and one of her young patients dies the exact same way that her dad used to unalive women so someone knows who she is and somebody knows her past let me tell you the way this developed over time i was like oh my god maybe she's just crazy maybe she's locked up in an asylum with a nice little cozy coat on with one of them rooms that got padded walls maybe she's just crazy but the plot twist smacked me in the face the plot twist was worth every second of this book i rated it a five stars because of that the next book i read was not today satan um this was just like a lightweight monster romance i just needed something to like quickly read and i liked it it was a 3.5 stars for me it wasn't nothing too crazy it wasn't like nothing too spicy it wasn't like anything dramatic it was just it was lightweight i was in a it it was it was spooky season and i just wanted to read monster corn <laughs> And the next book I read was another monster corn-esque type of book. This is Not So Kind Regards by Cleo Evans. Um, this is about a demon, a witch, and like some, I, I think like a, like a, a shifter. I think that's what they were. I think that's what he was. But anyway, this was a really, really good book. I rated it a four stars. 
Um, again, it wasn't nothing too crazy. Would I recommend it to somebody that's getting their toes dipped into the monster corn? Absolutely. But would I recommend it to somebody who reads this shit on a daily? No, this is lightweight. The next book I read was Death Note Volume 1 by uh, this person. Not even going to attempt to say it. Um, my brother wanted me to read this. He said that it was a really good manga and he thought that I would enjoy it. So I read it in my last video. I read a lot of these in my last video, but I read this one in my last video. And I rated it at four stars. It was nothing too crazy, but it's definitely a manga that I can see myself getting into. Like, I literally have the second one right here. It's my brother's, but I'm gonna read it. And yeah, I really liked it. It was really, really, really interesting. The next book I have is Awkward in October. I also read this on my Kindle. It was so cute it was a little bit of a slow burn but it was so freaking cute oh my god i loved how they fell in love and i loved that it was just this awkward girl who fell in love with a grumpy man like he was grumpy as hell like throughout the whole book but he was one of those like fake grumpies where like they put on a facade of being like this really tough man and she just like breaks his walls down and he's actually really soft and loving it was really, really cute, and I rated that a four stars as well. The next book I read partially on my Kindle and partially physically was Butcher and Blackbird by Brienne Weaver. I realized that I haven't told you um, some of their names, but I'll put everything on the screen. This, I rated it a four stars as well, and the only reason I rated it a four stars was because it was a slow burn, and it took me a really long time to read it, but would I recommend it to somebody? Yes, but no. Yes, because I liked that they fell in love. No, because I feel like everybody hypes this up to be like oh my god he's an unaliver she's an unaliver and like the spicy scenes are gonna be crazy i've read haunting adeline this was lightweight let me tell you it was not even this was how i rate spicy scenes is i rate them like are they a sex scene in a movie or is it like corn like dark web corn this was this was a sex scene in a movie like it was it i would check the trigger warnings though because the trigger warnings the trick can i even say those on here i don't think i could say this on here yeah i would just i would check the trigger warnings before you buy or read this book um the next book i read was the on the block um on my kindle and let me tell you i read that shit in one sitting i read that shit up until like seven in the morning let me tell you i loved that book i loved it i wish i had the physical copy just to have it it i want to annotate it for sure so i might buy the physical copy but look, it was so beautiful spicy scenes were amazing it won what? Oh, the way that they fell in love, oh my god, I fucking loved it. It was so, so, so perfect. I rated it a five stars. And the spicy scenes? The way he loved her because of the way her body was and just... It was so worth it. It really, really was. Like, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you have a Kindle to get it. If you don't have a Kindle... Buy the physical copy. Buy the physical copy. It was so fucking worth it. The next two books are my last two books. I read There Are No Saints and There Is No Devil by Sophie Lark. Let's go into There Are No Saints first. This book is about Cole. He is an unaliver. And Mara, who is a nobody. She's an artist. She's broke. She works like three jobs. And something happens that connects them in a way you wouldn't think like when i read it i was like oh shit he didn't do that i was like oh fuck 
But in the back, it says he begins stalking her and finds out that she's struggling. And he decides to, like, kind of help her, but, like, kind of not help her. It's a really weird in between. He becomes, like, obsessed with her, but not in the obsessive way that he wants to unalive her. It's just, like, he wants to help her, but he doesn't know why. Um, I rated this a five stars. First of all, I highly, highly recommend this. I really do. Why? Because it comes with a soundtrack. A playlist and it has an Apple Music one and a Spotify one which I loved that because I don't have a Spotify and let me tell you reading some of the scenes with the music because let me see if I can skip to a part that has it oh wait it shows it in the beginning you see how it says that at the top so you're supposed to listen to specific the song that's up there while you're reading that specific spot and it made me feel like I was watching this shit in a movie. I was in love. I really was. Every little spicy scene. And these have like very like graphic illustrations in them. I opened one up in the doctor's office the other day and I was embarrassed. And then there is no devil. This is a this is the sequel to this. So this ends on a cliffhanger. And the way this starts, it starts as if it's another chapter out of this book. And I'm so glad that I got them both at the same time because I would have been pissed if I didn't. But it basically, I, I don't want to read the back of this because then it, sh it tells you what happens in the first one. But basically, it just continues the story on what happens. And I rated them both a five stars. Sophie Lark is now my favorite author. One of my favorite authors of all time. And I cannot wait to continue reading all her other books i want to read the um a brutal prince so i want to read the rest of that series but yeah i don't i don't know i had a really really good reading month i'm so 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 proud of myself the book that i'm currently reading now is terms and conditions by lauren asher i don't know if i'm gonna finish that within today and when i upload this video in four days but if I do, I will be putting my little review somewhere in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Unfortunately, I am not going to be uploading as much on this channel right now because I'm working on a side project with somebody really special. And I'm really excited for you guys to see that. I think that you guys are definitely going to see a side of me that is completely different and I'm excited for that so I'll see you guys when I see you guys bye